And in the straight on the first round, the leader is Swishwasher Tooth, getting to the front here from Windara Princess. Perfectly smooth, and Miller's Road working up on the outside now to get to second. Then Celebrity Gossip on the inside swing, and a stable made of perfectly smooth. About eight metres away then comes on the inside air salute from Gold Charm. Something's gone amiss with Sterling Edition. It dropped right off. The Breakfast Club is second last, and plenty of cash last of the main bunch, about 25 metres off the lead, as they disappear once again, going towards that 1,400 metre mark, where Swishwasher Tooth leads by three metres. The outside Miller's Road and third Windara Princess, perfectly smooth. No excuses today, every chance hit, and over on the inside then swinging. Behind it was celebrity gossip as they disappear once more. So we've got another uh, 250 metres to wait before we see them as they enter the straight, and this time we haven't got the mobile to guide us and let us know when they're coming. But very shortly we're going to see them once again, and this time hopefully it'll be for the bell. And, uh, well, let's see, they should be coming into view any moment. Now, are they? No. <laughs> they stopped down the back straight or something. Here they come, and uh, down towards the 900 metre mark, it's still Swish Washer Tooth in front of Miller's Road, Windara Princess on the leader's back. Six metres away, perfectly smooth, swinging inside it, then Celebrity Gossip. About eight metres away, then Gold Charm, followed by Air Salute, the Breakfast Club, plenty of cash. And last of all is Sterling Edition, about eight metres away, but Swish Washer Tooth is still the leader as they work into the back from Windara Princess, about to get out. As Miller's Road gave ground, then perfectly smooth, will have to come three deep now. Swing and the stable mate stays on the inside, and then well back Celebrity Gossip with Air Salute and plenty of cash. Well back at the head of the others then was the Breakfast Club, as they head towards that 450 metre mark and disappear once more. So, what's going to happen when they come back into view this time, when the pressure's going to be on? We've got Swishwasher Tooth in front. When Dara Princess, when we last saw them, was about to get to second and perfectly smooth, was getting around the outside then of swinging as they're about to turn once more now. And very shortly we'll see them again. And the Swishwasher Tooth, one of the popular elects, was in the lead. And here they come, and uh, it's well clear Swishwasher Tooth from Perfectly Smooth. Swinging getting home okay on the outside, swinging getting home okay on the outside. But Swishwasher Tooth leads pretty well all the way and comes away and scores a very easy win by about 12 metres. Two perfectly smooth, a neck away third swing and then Celebrity Gossip, the Breakfast Club Air Salute, well back then at the head of the others, plenty of cash, Gold Charm, Miller's Road, Windara Princess, well, I don't know whether anything happened to her down the back or not but she looked to be going alright when she got out and Sterling Edition was last in. Oh great, the mobile, stand by for a start, almost set, ready to away this time. Cut back the inside, got away pretty well, so did Happy Land. And currently a show place deeper out as they run to the winning post the first time. Cutback's going to drive through and lead Happy Land for the moment. Although Happy Land wants to take it on for the lead and they're going quickly. Karamea Showplace to third. Hank Scotch on the inside from Tickover. Then I'm Ideal on the fence. Mark Domino caught out a little bit deep, followed by, well, Hello Fella. Antique Queen galloped. And also, well back was Mystique Monarch put in an early uh, ruffy or two and has dropped out to the rear with it as they run to the lap and three quarters towards the back and the fog. Now Cutback has dr driven through on the inside and held out Happy Land. There's one circumnavigating three wide around them. I've got no idea what it is. It might be Mark Domino, whatever it is, it's attacking for the front and it has gone quickly around them. Getting a good run through off the second line was Hank Scotch. It's right up there in a Ford Posse as they disappear. Uh, if, you're, if you're on Mystique Monarch and Antique Queen, tear up your tickets. I know they're out the back. Caramere Showplace has settled about midfield as we wait for them to come around the corner for the ball. And here they come. On the inside is Cutback leading here by two metres. Uh, on its back is Hank Scotch. And the one on the outside without cover, I'm just trying to pick it up now, is Mark Domino. Happy Land, one out and one back. And then I'm Ideal on the fence, followed further back in the race by Caramere Showplace. It's three back in the running line. Tick over is next, followed on the rails by Wellhalla Fella. And then came further back in the field then to attacking up is Mystique Monarch. And forget the other one, which is Antique Queen. Hank Scotch is in that pack somewhere as they disappear again into the fog on the 600 metre mark. Where I can tell you that Mark Domino is putting pressure on cut back. Uh, third placing in the race on the inside is Hank Scott still there. Followed on the outside is uh, Happy Land who's about to pull out three deep. Caramere show place and tick over look like they're making some kind of runs. And uh, then uh, I'm Ideal will be still there on the fence somewhere, probably railing up. Well, if it was race number five, I'd get Brian Blackmore to do the quaddy chat now to save wasting time. But uh, he'll have to do that later on. They're coming towards the corner at the 200 metre mark. 
and just waiting for these runners to come back into view. They're there somewhere. Here they come in the straight now. Cut back. Let's see how it's going from Mark Domino. Happy Land is wider out on the track under the whip. And I'm uh, Hank Scotch is battling on pretty well. It's Mark Domino in front. Hank Scotch is getting it. Getting run right off the track as Happy Land coming at them. But Hank Scotch in front. Hank Scotch. Hank Scotch wins it by a head, I think. It is very tight, though, with Happy Land. Third placing Mark Domino from I'm Ideal. Well, hello, fella. Then Cutback, who knocked up. Well back was Tick Over. Uh, Mystique Monarchs made up a lot of ground, followed by Karamea Showplace. And Antique Queen was last of all. The Bronx, Bronx to come up. Now, all alight on the second line. They come right up to the mark. Away they go. And standing there full of cheek, first out was Stylish Jack, away OK, Harry Dundee. The hunted man and from the Bronx has begun OK, then Tiger Moon the inside, Rambling Ruhr. Chute and Flyer Potential, well back Tolvin, Scotch Thomas, Mack, and full of cheek has missed the start badly and all alight hopelessly. As they work off the bottom corner now, the leader was Stylish Jack out clear by eight metres, second placing over on the inside, Harry Dundee. And the hunted man is left without cover, trailing it was from the Bronx, the inside, Tiger Moon. Potential hooks out three deep now to get around Rambling Ruhr and Chute and Flyer. Out in front of him is the, from the Bronx as they enter the straight. Well back then full of cheek, Talbot Scotch and all the light is about 20 metres away. Well, it is stylish Jack running towards the judge now with two laps to go. Leading about six metres now to from the Bronx who gets into the death but sees Potential coming. Now Brian Gath eases and a good bit of driving there because he's now going to have cover. As stylish Jack leads out of the straight, Potential getting to second. Harry Dundee on the leader's back. And from the Bronx ends up one out and one back. Tiger Moon on the inside of him, then the hunted man. A headaway chute and fly the fence, four metres rambling ruhr. Thomas Mack now pulls out 1,400 to go from full of cheek. On the outside of it is Tolvin Scotch and tacking on is all alight. Along the back they swing now. And here with 1,300 metres to travel. Stylish Jack by four metres to from the Bronx who whips around potential. And a cat and mouse there on the inside, Harry Dundee. Then out three deep is the hunted man. Tiger Moon is on the inside from Rambling Ruhr, Chute and Flyer. Out wide, Thomas Mack, well back, full of cheek, all alight. And Tolvin Scotch is now at the tail as they come to the turn. And here the hunted man moves around the outside again from the Bronx, has cover. Where Stylish Jack leads the hunted man, Harry Dundee, the leader's back. From the Bronx and out three deep, Rambling Ruhr, Tiger Moon is on the inside. Then a sulky's length away comes Potential in the centre on the rails. As they jam up now was Chute and Flyer. Thomas Mack is deep, full of cheek, the centre all alight, and last of all, two metres away, was Tolvin Scotch. Past the judge, and the leader with us, uh, just under a lap to go, is Stylish Jack by two metres. Second placing the hunted man, third on the inside, Harry Dundee's had a nice run. From the Bronx is out three deep again now, then Potential the centre. Over on the outside, Rambling Ruhr on the fence is Tiger Moon. Then full of cheek, chute and flyer, Thomas Mack, well back all alight, and Tolvin Scotch. To the 500 metre mark they go, and Stylish Jack... Pressured now on the outside by From the Bronx, who goes up to almost join him. Then the hunted man on the inside, Harry Dundee, can't find anything. Then potential rambling Ruhr and Tiger Moon. The leader was still stylish, Jack, as they raced by the 300 metre mark. Leading by a nectar from the Bronx, six metres away, the hunted man on the outside, potential. And Harry Dundee sticking on from Tiger Moon. Stylish Jack leads into the straight. From the Bronx on the outside is trying to pick it up clear of the hunted man and potential. Stylish Jack in front from the Bronx on the outside is trying very, very hard. Stylish Jack from the Bronx going home just a little bit the better from the Bronx and it gets up from the Bronx. Wins it by a neck, second placing to Stylish Jack, the hunted man, third, fourth potential in Tiger Moon. Next in Harry Dundee, all alight, shoot and fly, full of cheek. Rambling Ruhr, Thomas Mack and Tolvin Scotch at the tail. Number five from the Bronx, Brian Gath has just outplugged Stylish Jack number two. Scotch Demand, Carol Rose, Baltic Prince, Duke of Rose with the front. Bloomfield Star coming up. Meander Princess with Scottish Dancer and Springfield Lubin. Almost set to go. Ready. Green lights up and they're away. Stacker Hopes come out okay with Carol Rose, Scotch Demand, Golden Horde away fairly. Ton of Dash trying to hunt up on the inside to hold them out and wide out there was Baltic Prince as they work off the back. Scottish Dancer and Bloomfield Star are back as they disappear into the murk and uh, that's the last we're going to see of them for a couple of hundred metres anyway. As they run up towards the uh, turn now, this fog just going up and down like, uh, you know what, a blind I suppose is a good description. Carol Rose and Stacker Hope having a real battle for the lead as they enter the straight. 
Third placing Scott's demand and over on the inside ton of dash, six metres away was Meander Princess, behind it Golden Horde the fence, another eight metres to Bloomfield Star, then comes Duke of Rosewood, well back then at the head of the other Scottish Dancer, with Springfield Lubin and Baltic Prince who was working up towards the leaders obviously Gallop and has tailed off as they work into the back, still these two attacking, Stacker Hope the inside and Carol Rose the outer third ton of dash, a metre Scott's demand, a sulky's length Golden Horde on the inside of Meander Princess, four metres metres away Bloomfield Star, two metres back on the inside Duke of Rosewood, another six metres Scottish Dancer, then Springfield Lubin and Tard right off as Baltic Prince. Along the back they go, and on the inside Stacker Hope just in front here, second placing over on the outer Carol Rose, Tunner Dash is third as they disappear once again into the gloom, and we'll pick them up once more with uh, about 220 metres to go on the turn, and a little over a lap to travel. Just reminding you of course we've got gallops here next Tuesday. Tuesday the 28th and the last harness meeting for the season on Independence Day, Monday the 4th of July. As they're in the straight now for the bell, 9.50 out and Stacker Hope holding out Carol Rose leads it by a metre. Tunnard Ash is third with Scott's demand fourth. He's had a nice run. Meander Princess now hooking out three deep on its back from the rear Springfield Lubin. Golden Horde trapped away on the inside and Bloomfield star the centre. It is under a little pressure though from Duke of Rosewood, Scottish Dancer and Baltic Prince. Stacker Hope leads as they work to the 700 metre mark by a metre. The outside of it is Carol Rose, Tunnadash third, locked up, then Meander Princess three deep. Scott's demand in the centre over on the outside, Springfield Lubin, Golden Lahord looking for a way out from Bloomfield Star and then uh, making a run around the Baltic Prince, Duke of Rosewood and Scottish Dancer is last of all towards the 400 metre mark and now Carol Rose got to the lead from Stacker Hope who's beaten Tunner Dash pocketed there's one whipping around the outside of those and I've got absolutely no idea what it is as they work towards the 350 metre mark where uh, Carol Rose uh, when we last saw them had hit the lead here and uh, will it be the same pattern as we turn? Here they come now. And uh, on the inside, it's Carol Rose in front, outside at Meander Princess. Then Stacker Hope beaten Scott's demand into the clear and Duke of Rosewood down the outside. Carol Rose in front. Meander Princess, Duke of Rosewood is flying home. And in the centre there was Scott's demand. But Carol Rose is too good. And Carol Rose wins by three metres. The Duke of Rosewood, Scott's demand's got third from Meander Princess. Golden Horde got out late, then came next in Tunner Dash. Behind it was Scottish dancer Stacker Hope on the inside, Baltic Prince, Springfield Lubin and Bloomfield Star has run last. We paid double today, do we? The winner of the race, number six, Carol Rose, Con Rigby. Any moment now, we should have, here they come. And <laughs> what's this in front? It's Quigley, I think. It's going to lead all the way. Linda Cheetah's got second. Over on the outside, maybe Gleeful third from Hard to Bluff. Lazy Meadow, and then back behind it was Arc Torado, and they've disappeared again. The Quigley's won the race, all right. Number five, driven by Graham Morgan. And uh, what have we got going to the lead here? Looks like Tabuli. Uh, it is Tabuli going to the front here on the outside. Why, Kiki Kid's going to get up and run second. You know Mass has run third. Uh, from Castaneda. Over on the inside, Tanya Carome, then came uh, behind it, Comedy's Treasure, Travelling Light, um, back on the inside, Bustling Billy, and Maximum Efforts run last. Here, here they come now, and uh, what have we got in front here? It looks like on Eden Supreme, Wandana Speedy's coming at it, but on Eden Supreme's won by a neck. Two Wandana Speedy, Thoramir or Vice Regal for third, then Mr McKenzie over on the inside, behind it then was Family Joker as they disappear once again. High potentials run last. And Eden he may be still in front, but they'll be making challenges to him, that's for sure, over the concluding stages. Here they come, and uh, there's one on the out, Strike Me Minders in front. It's wanting to run off the track, coming at it, seeing red from Northwood, but Strike Me Minders won the race. Second, seeing red, third, Northwood. Bronco Bob was further back. Then came That's Freedom, uh, lost them here already. Freeway to Fortune was wider out. Glenfern Guy, after his tough run, ran uh, one of the last, and the rest of the moment called were, were in the middle of the pack there somewhere as they disappear out of view. Strap to swing into the straight, and once we can pick up which is what and who is what, uh, we'll let you know. Well, we've got one out wide on the track now. On the inside, uh, what is it in front here? Um, Dark hazard it is, but on the outside, getting home strongly, Pleasant Vance has come from last, and Pleasant Vance 
wins by two metres to Dark, has at hell of a times run third, fourth placing in, now something's happened to Steel Guitar because he's tailed off, uh, fourth placing was Auburn Prophet, uh, the others disappeared, who cares anyway, but Steel Guitar was in front when they disappeared out of view at the 700 metre mark, and he's come back in tailed off, either totally distressed or something's gone awfully wrong. Coming up for a start, isn't this ironical? French Classic, the inside runner, Soweto in two, laughs in three, Barwick in the all white. Here's the start, away they go, French Classic, Soweto both away smoothly on the inside and French Classic is going to lead without a hassle. Pygmy Poison going up on the inside and deep out on the track working forward there was Windshield Guest. As they work off the back, then comes Laughs easing out of it on the inside there to Kisa Gigi with Silver Sun just in front of it, well back there, Mars Fella, as they settle. And coming down to the, to the turn here, and Windshield Guest is up taking this leader on French Classic, and Windshield Guest is going to cross and lead, third placing Pygmy Poison about seven or eight away. Behind it comes Soweto about to come off the rails, Laugh behind it, then four metres away here comes Mary McSwain out deep on the track. Takisa Gigi moves up on the inside, deep out there is Mars Fella. On the inside there comes Barwick and between runners Silver Sun. They leave the straight and the leader windshield guest by four metres. Laughs is going to go up and have a crack at the lead and uh, French Classic should be able to come off the fence if he so desires. Uh, she so desires. Rita Burnett about six metres away Soweto. Inside it then was Pygmy Poison as they worked down the back. Past the 1400 metre mark, eight metres Mary McSwain. Over on the outside then is Mars Fella. Behind it Silver Sun to Kisa Gigi and last of all is Barwick. Towards the 1200 metre mark and the leader windshield guest laughs his second. French Classic didn't come away from the rail, stays pocketed now. Over on the outside, three deep Mars fella getting around Soweto. And on the fence, two metres away, Pygmy Poison. Wide out then making ground is Silver Sun from Mary McSwain to Casey Gigi. And last of all is Barwick. Up to the turn, a thousand metres out. And windshield guest the leader by three metres laughs. French Classic the inside. Wide out was Mars fella, Soweto in the centre. Pygmy Poison the inside, three deep Silver Sun riding home on the back of Mars Fella, then comes Mary McSwain, second last to Kisa Gigi, and last of all the judge with a round to go was Barwick, 800 metres out, windshield guest, two metres clear of laughs, inside pocketed French Classic, so Widow's also in a pocket, one off the fence, outside at Mars Fella, then Pygmy Poison back along the inside from Silver Sun, it's handy enough as they work to the 600 metre mark, then Mary McSwain to Kisa Gigi, and six metres last of all is Barwick, Along the back and windshield guest. The leader here by two metres to the pony last. French Classic going all right. Soweto is about to get out under pressure on the outside of it is Mars Fella. Then Pygmy Poison getting up inside Mary McSwain from Silver Sun. As they go by the 400 metre mark where windshield guest still leads by a metre to laughs. Soweto is under pressure. French Classic held up going all right. And then comes Soweto and behind it Pygmy Poison. On the turn windshield guest just in front of laughs. The inside French Classic can't get a crack at them. Soweto in the straight laughs raced up the windshield guest French Classic is desperately trying to get out and Soweto on the outside laughs took the lead Soweto on the outside and French Classic going for a run in the centre laughs still in front Soweto and French Classic laughs in front and laughs is going to win laughs first scores by two metres to French Classic or Soweto and Mary McSwain the outside and a photo for third next in then would have been Pygmy Poison behind it windshield guest Next in to Kesa Gigi, at the head of the others, then Barwick Silver Sun, and last in was uh, Mars Fella.